Hello and welcome to the Ash Holson YouTube channel as we do a first look at WRC Generations. Jumping in the Ford Puma Rally 1 at Rally Sweden. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're off! 100. So after the promise of WRC 10, Killerton has finally delivered us a pretty decent game. The issues from the last game from what I've seen so far have been pretty much all but rectified. The optimization, which was such a problem in the last game, is no longer there. I'm getting a steady 90 to 100 frames when I'm not recording and 80 to 90 now, which is pretty good. No stuttering, no frame drops. It's just working as a game should. I mean, it's only taken five installments to get there, but at least they're there now. And in this game as well, you get the new Rally 1 cars. The new hybrid era of WRC cars and... What are they like? Well, they're a lot heavier than the last ones. And right three into left four, 80. Force feedback and the actual feel of them feels quite similar, just a lot heavier and a bit more nose heavy. You also can't take the corners at the speed as you would do in the previous games. Because like in the real rally cars, they don't have anywhere near as much aero as the last ones. That doesn't make it any worse though. On the contrary, it makes it feel more believable. The WRC 10 was... You can break on a dime, but you don't have that in this game. The sound is still, well, terrible to be perfectly honest. In the Rally 1 cars, it, it's bearable, but WRC 2 and Rally 3 are just woeful and I hope they can be patched or modded later on just just to sound better but aside from the sound the, the scenery the stages are still as good as ever was Sweden is fantastic the snowbanks don't necessarily work as they should they feel more like walls that look like sandbank uh, snowbank sorry but it is a rather good looking stage So for those who haven't played the franchise, would you recommend this over Dirt Rally? Well, no. Dirt Rally you can pick up for about £4. And it feels better on gravel and has better force feedback. But for £35, for a new rally game, this feels pretty damn good. As for the physics, and the force feedback. You still get a bit of floatiness in this game compared to a dirt rally. I did a stage in Argentina earlier on and the big boulders there. You don't necessarily feel them as much unless you go off the stage itself. Which is a shame because it looks with the new graphic settings and tweaks they've done, it looks really imposing, but kind of driving over them like they're not there. There is still a few bugs in this game. As you can see, I've got snow falling down onto the car, but there's no build-up on the windscreen. I'm sure a patch will come in fairly soon to rectify that, but... It's those little details that Hillerton, it's those little details that makes you realise that this is a small studio trying to deliver on a world championship sort of series, you know. There's not many driving series that has their own game. I mean, there's this, Formula One, NASCAR. And obviously ACC with the GT stuff, but... That's it. And caution, right three, keep in through gate. That's not to take away anything that Killerton have done. They've finally delivered, I think, on what they've always promised. 
a realistic right two, into right two, narrows, at times anyway rally experience and finish but this isn't a bad way to go out anyway thanks for watching the video like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you all next time cheers